Well, Danny, you asked for a reaction after the waiting game. You certainly got that. Certainly did, yeah. You're not wrong. Um, I mean, that's all we asked for, you know, before the game. You know, a, a response to the previous game, and we, and we certainly got that. What pleased you most about that? Everything. Everything did. Um, a composed performance. The application of the players was first class throughout the game. We never let up once. Um, and they're, they're the standards that, that have been set. And, and, and we're going to build that momentum again now after, uh, after last night's game. Obviously, it's about resetting and going on another great run like we had before last Tuesday. That's it. About, it's all about getting the momentum back, which we lost last, last week. And, you know, we've, we've started, started really, really well with, with last night's game. So we couldn't have asked any more in, in regards to that. And it's just about building now and, and, and carrying that form on. So many positives to look at. But there is a negative, and that is Lewis Fenton going off through injury, um, especially so early on. Can you provide us with an update on that? Difficult to say, really. I mean, it's, it's just one of those, he, he felt his hamstring. Um, how bad and how severe it is, we, we don't know. The next couple of days will tell us that. Um, but hopefully, touch wood, you know, he, he, he isn't as bad as, 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 as it might be. Um, but you just don't know, do you? I mean, the, the prognosis with Danzi when he hurt his ankle was seven to eight weeks, and then within a week he, he virtually made a full recovery. So, hopefully, you know, something like that is, is is very similar for Lewis. We spoke last week, and we spoke over numerous weeks about getting the teams right from the off. To what extent do you think that we did that last night? No, I thought we did. I thought we really, really did. You know, the, the tempo was high. We made a point of that before the game. High, high tempo. As soon as the ball goes out, or any free kicks or anything, get on them and look to play quick and just keep the ball rolling and keep the opposition moving. Um, I think it was important we got out of the blocks very, very quickly and it just set, set us up for the rest of the game, really. And obviously, before we did score, I thought we could have scored two two or three um, goals before that. They say that a two-goal lead is a rather fragile one to have at half-time because obviously if the, the opposition hit back, you know, your, your backs were against the wall. But how important was it in terms of getting that third goal so early in the second period? It's always nice and it's always important. Um, obviously, you know, in football, things like that don't happen and you, you can just then be looking after the ball, looking to move it quickly, creating, trying to create as many, many chances as possible and looking to get that third and just put the game, game to bed. Um, luckily, we did do that. We started the, the game on the front foot again, which is you know, imperative that we, we do that. You know, there's no point starting the first half very, very well and then switching off second half and just taking your foot off the gas. So it's important you keep the momentum going and, you know, put the put the opposition under as much pressure as possible and try and get that third and, you know, then that, that calms everyone down and you can just go and play your football then. There was no let up either, was there? So in terms of when the game was over as a contest, when it was three and four, we carried on as if it was, it was nil nil. That one must have pleased you immensely. Yeah, that was very pleasing to see because obviously it's easy to take take your foot foot off the pedal and just cruise, go into cruise control and um, just see the game out really. So it was, it was important that the application from the lads stayed throughout the duration of the game to the final whistle and they did that to a tee. So, so full, full credit to the, the boys really because it, it's not easy at times because when you know the game's over as a contest, like you say, it's, it's one of those, you just go into a, a, bit, of a bit of a lazy mode, I say, um, in terms of you're just happy to keep the ball and not really go anywhere. But there was real impetus in, in our game throughout. In terms of your other substitutions, obviously we've mentioned Lewis, but in terms of the withdraw withdrawal of Berry and Kenji, um, with them, did you have one eye on Saturday? Yeah, yeah, we really did. Um, obviously, we don't want to pick up any more injuries. We've had, we've had quite a few um, during the season already, um, especially in the the back line. So it's important that we do keep keep players fit and healthy, um, and then obviously. You know, the, the game was over, wasn't it? So we just got to manage it well and, and look towards Saturday's game, really. So that was the thinking behind that. Talking of Saturday, Colville Town away, certainly not an easy draw, is it? No, it's not. No. We'll, you know, we'll expect a tough game. I mean, every game's tough and it, it poses different problems. So, you know, we'll go into it full of confidence after last, last night's um, result. So um, we'll, be, we'll be looking forward to it. Thanks, Danny. Thank you.